Hi guys, welcome to NYC. We're up to episode nine, and exciting. Oh, almost, almost a half ten on our belt. And tonight we are going to big surprise the next speakeasy on the <laughs> list. It is Sunday. Uh, we're doing another Sunday episode because we want to go out and do something fun this weekend. So we are going to Patent Pending. Now this is the place that we tried to go to. Uh, a month or so ago, and there were no spots left, and that was on a Saturday night. So we're hoping Sunday night we should be able to get in a lot easier. No problem. Um, right? Last nice. last Sunday that worked. We got into the other place, mm -hmm. into Little Branch, no wait whatsoever. So hopefully that works again here. And this is a cool place because it's basically at the back of a coffee shop. Um, yeah, I hear they have uh, some electric vibes going on there. So maybe they'll they'll play Electric Eel. That's one of my favorite songs. Yeah, I think it's actually, not, but I like the song. <laughs> I think it's actually so I think it's actually the this the speakeasy uh is actually in the building that was uh Tesla's like workshop building. So oh, a lot of the cocktails are like are like electricity inspired like Tesla he did he did his, his experiments on radio waves. Like basically they were sending the same thing. It's the same thing it's basically the precursor to the technology we're using now for GPS to find our way there and for Wi Fi to connect your internet and all that. So No idea. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it apparently it's really neat, uh, the, the decorations inside. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. And I'm excited. Cool. All right, we're gonna head out now. It's about eight thirty, so um, Luckily, summer it's still still light out, which is oh, nice. Um, we're relishing this. And yeah, so we'll catch you there. So, Oscar, this is Oscar Wilde. Have you been to Path and Pending? We're on our way there now. It's gonna be cool. <laughs> Want to join us? Yes. to show all my friends today, bring them back. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Actually from uh, New York City, yeah, I just, uh, I know, I know, I just, uh, I just like creating, like, chronicling the different cool places, yeah. But we're actually, actually from here, so, unfortunately, even though we look like tourists, I guess. Wow. Hey guys. I am here in the bathroom of Pat Penning. This is a really cool bathroom. Cool features. Lit by candle. Beautiful. I love these kind of candle holders. It has such interesting shadows as you can see by my face. So we are back after a very successful fun night. Laura is making some more nachos to eat. Uh, man, this place was just incredible. I mean, in terms of speakeasies, I would say this is towards the top of my list in terms of places we've been so far. Picture this, you go to this place, you walk up to the front of Patent Coffee. Um, it's locked. 
it's dark inside, all the lights are out. You type a code into the, the keypad, 4927, I believe it was, pound. The lights above the door, which say coffee and all kind of scrambled letters, go out and just the letters of patent pending remain lit. The door unlocks and you walk down the stairs into the darkened coffee shop to the back where a person um, basically opens the back wall. The whole back wall is a secret entrance where it actually um, has a hinge where it opens up and moves out of the way. You walk back into a, um, a speakeasy in the back of this coffee shop that's basically uh, uh, the original brick um, from the, the building which is, you know, uh, well, it's a very old historic landmark building with, you know, the basement is all brick. Um, with arches and everything. Laura is coming back with some nachos. Yes, I am. Um, so it was Tesla's building. Yeah, so it was... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, so it was, it, was, um, it was Tesla's building, so a lot of the, the theme of the speakeasy is around Tesla, so the menu itself, as you open it up and flip through, has um, basically uh, a very summarized ver uh, story, the, the story of his life, and each, each section um, kind of relates to uh, a phase, kind of a phase of his life and the story of that time. And the cocktails are related to that. So there's a part about, you know, his rise, his fall, unfortunately, the, um, which are kind of darker cocktails. And then there's the last pages about his legacy, which are really the most unique, rare, special cocktails. And um, I actually, so it's, it's all really about Tesla, which is which is super cool, because it gives you a lot of the, if you read the, the menu, it gives you a lot of the backstory about his life and everything and all his inventions, hence the name Patent Pending. Um, and I actually had one of those super unique drinks um, from the back pages, um, the legacy pages, which are basically designed with, they're made with really rare, hard to find ingredients and unique methods. So the one I got was called the, Oh, what was it? Oh, I'm not gonna remember what it's called, of course. Hard to create, hard method. <laughs> it was called the Impossible Idea. And it's one of the special cocktails. Basically, they have some that are really special. This one, as you can see here, Impossible Idea. Um, mezcal, rum, black and banana, marchino, sherry, amaro. It was $28 for cocktail. Not just cocktail, but so definitely uh, pricey. Most of the drinks were, I think, 17, so a little bit more reasonable, still pricey. But this was not just cocktail. You get to watch them make it in front of you with a blowtorch, basically um, taking the bananas and, and, and uh, cooking them or, uh, you know, blackening them with the sugar, the caramelized sugar. So you basically get on the side of your drink, you get uh, basically bananas to eat with it and uh, like like caramelized bananas and man it was just incredible i mean like the whole drink the way it's made it's just like there's so many different ingredients and like uh flavors going on mezcal they actually take overripe bananas and put it in um rum um and let it like absorb and then like clarify it and use that in the drink it was just like a really unique amazing drink and you know i got some footage of them creating it but you can see the care that goes into making all these cocktails. I mean, some like that drink alone probably took at least five minutes to make. Um, so I, I felt like it was, it was worth it for the price. I mean, it was just like the flavors were really, really good. The, just the presentation and everything with the, um, <coughs> like lighting the rum on fire and <clears throat> the bananas with the, the caramelized bananas was really, uh, really something special. And I think, uh, I think Laura enjoyed her drinks as well. I really did, yeah. I, uh, my, my drink had yogurt in it and it had some delicious, well, I mean, I had two drinks. One was more of a Prosecco type, light summery drink, fruity, excuse me. And the other was a little bit heavier. It was more of a dessert drink, I would say. Um, but really, I wanted to talk about our experience with our waiter, or excuse me, our bartender. He was excellent, so we actually sat at the bar. At the end, he uh, actually gave us a couple of drinks. It was delicious. I think it had some kind of cream, and I know there was a tea in there, and it was served warm. 
So it was just a really nice nightcap. I think it was worth it. To go out for a couple hours and experience what I would call one of the coolest, um, most unique speakeasies that I think New York City has to offer. So, um, totally recommend it. It's a tough place to get in if you go on like a Friday or Saturday night because it only fits about 30 people, but worth going for sure. Uh, definitely recommend. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorites. Probably my, my favorite so far. There have been a lot of great speakeasies that we've, we've visited, but uh, this was definitely top of the line, so. All right, yeah, so we'll catch you uh, maybe next week for episode 10. So that's a milestone. So signing off for now. See you next time. Bye, guys.